So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Cameron. Um, today I want to go over something that I've been pondering um, all out of season through the winter. Uh, this year I'm uh, increasing the, the bee yard greatly. I want to get to 25 colonies and I'm at now 18. And with more colonies comes more issues. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is twofold. Why I'm uh, going to give it a go is my mentor uh, found this on uh, uh, Nature's Image Farm. Greg Burns did a, uh, a video on this. Um, I'd changed one thing instead of uh, pool grade diatomaceous earth, I've got food grade. And I've had these and never used them. These little things are called, uh, I believe they're called uh, beetle barns. You can just put a bait in the middle there and you just slip it in the bottom of the uh, hive. So I'm going to utilize these with this. Um, that way it keeps, the, the, the bees w won't go inside here. They just corral the, bees, the uh, hive beetles into them. So, um, this is what you're gonna need. Um, my mentor, uh, Tony, he uh, tried this and had a uh, really good, uh, really good, uh, he, he just doesn't have any hide beetles anymore. So I'm going give to give it a go. So it involves Crisco. This is a three pound can. Eucalyptus oil. Some food colouring. And like I said, Greg Burns used pool grade diatomaceous earth. This is food grade. So you're going to want something to uh, to mix it in. Greg named it bee butter, um, but he also named it murder sauce. I prefer the name murder sauce because bee butter sounds too too nice. So let's get the Crisco into here. I'm outside. It's a beautiful 75 degrees and sunny today here in North Georgia so I'm hoping this is going to cooperate with me it is so far so now if you watch our other channel off grid for beginners with Cameron and Julie I'll put a link below you'll know that uh, I do all the cooking at home Julie's good at cooking but she doesn't enjoy it. I do enjoy it. So I'm very used to being in front of the camera while cooking. I'm not going to completely scrape that out because this is getting full. So I'm just going to soften this, get it moving a bit. Yeah, it is like a cooking show. <laughs> So the, what the food cooling is for is, this is completely white, the diatomaceous earth is completely white. So with the food colouring, uh, you are able to, to tell when you've got it all mixed in properly. That's, that's nice and soft. So I'm going to do it exactly how Greg Burns did it, and he uses a half to a full cup of diatomaceous uh, I'm going to put it in gradually because I think that's going to help me if you're not familiar with diatomaceous earth what it is is it's, it's, it's fascinating it's uh, the ectoskeletons of tiny sea creatures uh, from ancient Seas. <laughs> All right, B. Jeez. What? I've got a B in front of my face. So, a word from the wise. 
gonna need a bigger tub a bigger a bowl than the one I've got the size of it is making it difficult for me to keep it inside what I'll do is I'll uh, the magic of editing I'll fast forward me mixing this until so I'm happy that it's mixed all together and then we'll add the uh, the eucalyptus and the uh, food colouring watch how fast I do this now okay so I'm happy that that's uh, mixed together well enough so get rid of that the other reason that I picked food grade instead of pool grade is I had some already um, we use it in the garden um, it's a natural way of keeping some of the pests out of the vegetable garden but I also did a little bit more research on it and in uh, Australian beekeeping some beekeepers do use this method however they must use food grade so so Greg put in 10 10 drops of uh, eucalyptus oil one two three four five seven yep well I'm gonna give it one more there you go like uh, like any good cooking or anything like that it's not a science it would I, when I'm cooking I never rarely follow a recipe to the tea I just look at it and work out what I, how I'd like to do it so then some food colouring splash let's call it a splash So I know, I know the end of, end of last season, one of the hives, I think it was number three, I noticed that uh, when I took the, took the inner cover off, there was half a dozen, um, half a dozen hive beetles, and that's the, the most I've ever seen. Now, something else that helps me is all my hives are on concrete. So that helps me, I'm putting some more colouring in because it's not getting any darker. That helps me because what happens is the hive beetles, uh, put their larvae on the, in the ground underneath the hives and when, then they come out and get back into the hive. All my, all my uh, hives on this side of the property, uh, including the additional ones that I, I put up over the winter, I put concrete pads in for them. My nukes, however, I have nothing underneath them. In hindsight, what I should have done is put some uh, gardening fabric underneath them. That would have deterred it as well. So if you've got a bit of garden fabric, that will help you. Or stones and pebbles and that sort of thing. I'm going to put some more caution eel in. I want it darker than that. Whenever you're messing with caution eel food colouring, don't splash it. Whatever it gets on, it'll stay there. Okay, I'm, pl I'm pleased that that's done. And then what I'll do is, with this spatula, I'll just put a little bit in these bee barns. And it doesn't have to be a lot at all. I've just scraped it off, and uh, scraped it in and scraped it off sort of thing. It smells like eucalyptus. 
And then with the B bars, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've got too many hives. So the ones that uh, the ones that I, I don't have a B bar for, what I'll do is I'll put a just some on the top corners of the inner lids. Uh, I'll just put a, a smear on the top corners of the inner lids. Um, as far as the bees going near it, I, I, I do know that uh, when Greg did his video, um, he put it on the bottom board, um, right in the middle, right in the, square in the middle, and a, and a one on the, each corner. So the bees are coming in contact with it to a certain degree. Um, and he hasn't had any fatalities so so that's all i've got for you today guys so crisco diatomaceous earth do some research on it first um i recommend anything that you do with your bees do some research on it first before you try anything uh or like like what i did i saw the video that greg did uh, and so did my mentor tony and then tony uh, started using this uh, way of uh, helping with hide beetles and he's had great results as well so Crisco diatomaceous earth uh, the diatomaceous earth is a half a cup to a full cup a few drops of eucalyptus uh, 10 to 15 and uh, some food coloring so you can so you make sure you've got it mixed perfectly that's all I've got for you today guys I want to thank all the new subscribers and the old ones I love the comments uh, I always uh, reply to all comments drop us a like hit that notification number um, for those of you who have yet not uh, subscribed take five seconds hit the subscribe button uh, by downright that is the best way that you can uh, help me create content is to subscribe the more subscribers uh, the more the algorithm works and the more people get to see the videos but that's all I've got for you today guys uh, guys in the meantime I will see you on the next video.